How do you think they got this shot? Well, it was with one of these things, a robot arm. These bad boys allow you to get camera movements that are not possible any other way. Apple absolutely loves using them in their commercials, but what if you don't have one? I spent three days and my blood, sweat, and tears to try to recreate the iPhone 15 launch commercial with no budget. The first thing I needed was the iPhone 15. I woke up at the crack of dawn to pre-order this thing so I could get it as soon as possible. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. 15, pink, 128. Place your order. You're all set. Confirmation delivery update will be sent to your email address. And after we got the phone, it was time to build the robot arm. But first, if you look closely at the shot, there's a lot going on. It starts with a slide into the phone, but then once it gets to the phone, it starts rotating around. Now, because I don't have an absurd amount of money for a robot arm, I had to get creative. <laughs> This is my robot arm. It uses a probe lens that's mounted onto a piece of plywood to get it at the right angle. Then it also uses a slider for the back and forth motion, as well as a ball head to allow the whole thing to rotate. Oh yeah, we're onto something here. Okay, so we're gonna take a first look at it. This is our like first preliminary test. Yeah. Oh shit, that's good. Okay, so with the rig, the problem that we're kind of experiencing right now is that it's kind of wobbling. The shot is just way too shaky. Because of the quality craftsmanship that went into this rig, there was a lot of flex and a ton of vibrations. But something that I did notice is that one of the biggest culprits to this problem was the fact that we were only using one stand to hold the whole rig. So we got our hands onto a second stand to help support the rig, and it was time to get shooting. Okay, so we're just gonna do some set design of our living room here, which is where we're gonna be getting the initial shot, and it should be looking pretty similar. Okay, I think we are finally set up in our living room here, and we've got everything. So we've got a fill light in the back that's lighting the room. We've got this as a key light on our iPhone. This is the star of the show. It is the iPhone 15. It's nice, it's the pink one, same one as the commercial. If you look, this thing gets just above the iPhone here and it rotates around so you can see, boom, just like that. Okay, with the second stand, things were looking way better. Now it was just a matter of getting the reps in and doing this over and over again until we get a shot that'll work. Okay, attempt number one, here we go. Okay, you can see me in the shot, we're gonna do that again. One of the trickiest parts of this shot is that it required two people because I would do the sliding, Steven would do the rotation, but then I would have to duck out of the way so I didn't show up, but then I would have to pop up and grab the phone. Okay, just reviewed the second shot and it was slightly out of focus. Everything else was pretty close to being perfect, but it's out of focus. So we gotta do it again and get it perfect. Okay, that might've been it. Oh Ooh. yeah, I think that was it. Okay, I think we got it. That was that looks really freaking cool. We got the shot. Thank God. <laughs> Holy crap, that took us so long to do, but it looks really freaking good. And just like that, we got the shot. It actually turned out pretty good, and with a little bit of post-stabilization, it turned out pretty smooth. Also, if you're interested in seeing a more in-depth behind the scenes of this shoot, what went into the rig, as well as how we pulled this whole thing off, we're actually gonna be sending out an email on our email newsletter where we kind of explain everything in more detail. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you join the email newsletter down below. It'll be the first email that you get right away when you join. Now, we couldn't just stop there with getting this one shot. We wanted to recreate some other shots from the iPhone 15 commercial so we could actually turn this whole thing into a little bit of a sequence. So the next thing we wanted to recreate was the match cut. But this isn't your ordinary match cut because that would be way too easy. If you look closely at the match cut, you'll notice that the phone rotates away from the camera and actually does a match cut at the same time. So this means we had to build another rig. For the match cut, we came up with this thing. Now, compared to the last rig, it is pretty simple. 
It still uses a probe lens to get the right look, but it has a magic arm clamped on that connects to a tripod head where the phone is connected to that using double-sided tape. This way we can use the tripod head to rotate the phone while still keeping it in the right place to do a match cut. For the match cut sequence, we had to go out to multiple different locations so we can have a bunch of different shots that we can cut between. Okay, really quick, I just want to come in here and tell you that this video is brought to you with the help of Epidemic Sound. As a creator, Epidemic Sound should be your go-to place for any music or sound effects that you need for your videos. If you don't know already, Epidemic Sound is a music licensing service that allows you to use any of their 40,000 songs and over 90,000 sound effects on any of your videos and also any of your clients' videos and monetize them as well. It's a great tool for creators to soundtrack their videos without receiving copyright strikes or worrying about takedowns, which can be super annoying. We've actually been using Epidemic Sound for over five years now, and we actually use some of their sound effects in every YouTube video that we've ever uploaded and have never had any issues with monetizing. An awesome feature of Epidemic Sound that you should definitely check out is called Ear. It allows you to select a portion of a song that you really like, for example, a really good hook, and find songs that are similar to what you have selected. If you're interested in checking out Epidemic Sound, you can get yourself a 30-day free trial by going to the link in the description. Also, don't tell them that I told you this, but any of the songs and sound effects that you use during your trial are protected so you can continue to use them even if you cancel. Anyways, back to the video. Ooh, Ooh, that's gonna look good. For the next shot of the match cut, we were actually gonna have the phone pulling out of a pair of jeans and I was actually going to use a piece of fabric for that, but I forgot it in the car. So Steven kind of came through on that one. But we need a jean type material and uh, I'm wearing jeans, so. Yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> Another problem that we kept running into was that we were getting a ton of reflections on the screen of the phone, as well as oftentimes the screen of the phone just wasn't bright enough. To fix this, Steven had to hold this giant shader over top of me and the phone to cut out all the reflections, but being careful not to get it in the shot. Okay, so we've come out to the next location, just getting some more match cuts of this phone contraption. Let's start. Cool, one more time. Okay, I think we got the shot, and that actually marks the final shot for the entire thing, so we're done. And just like that, we're done. But it's probably time that I tell you that this match cut was probably done using CGI. I'm pretty sure they replaced the phone screen so they could get it brighter and more clear than if they used the actual phone screen. Actually, I know this for a fact because if you look at the original commercial and you look at these couple of frames, you notice that the dynamic island actually disappears. Now, this only happens if the screen is fake. Doing it this way, Apple wouldn't have to deal with all the reflections like we had to. It took us three days, but in the end, we got all the shots that we needed to recreate the iPhone 15 launch commercial as closely as we possibly could. Now, before I show you the final result, I do want to quickly let you know that we actually released our very own LUT pack. These are the LUTs that we've used in basically every video that we've ever made. They are handcrafted by us, as well as some of these LUTs we've been honing in for the last three years. Also, the LUTs come with a 45 minute color grading course that take you through the basics of color grading, how to get a professional color grading look, as well as how to get the most out of these LUTs or basically any LUTs that you use. At the end of the day, all you have to do is drag and drop these LUTs on and you can get yourself a professional level color grade. So if you're interested in picking these up, there's gonna be a link in the description down below. Anyways, with all that being said, here is our recreation of the iPhone 15 launch commercial. Slide in strong, wow. Turn around and stick it up, wow, wow. Fine, fine specimen, wow. Drop it down now, pick it up, wow. Wow, wow. Drop it down now, pick it up, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Drop it down now, pick it up, wow, wow. Wow.